This is Algebra 2, Unit 6, Lesson 11 on the locus definition of a parabola. All right, now, a locus definition is basically a definition based on a description of a figure. So a circle is pretty easy. We talked about a circle before. The lo locus definition of a circle is the collection of all points equidistant from a given point. So if you have a given point, and then you are looking for all the points that are equidistant from it. So I could be equidistant here, 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 here. If I keep filling in all of my points, what am I creating? I am actually creating a circle. So the locus definition of a circle is the collection of all points equidistant from a given point. All of my points here are the same distance away from a fixed point to create the circle. Okay, now there's a little more complex one that you can use, a uh, locus definition, that to describe a parabola. The locus definition of parabola is a parabola is a collection of all the points equidistant from a fixed point, which is called the focus, and a fixed line, which is called the directrix. So basically they're saying a parabola is made up of points that are equidistant from a point and a line at the same time. All right, so let's explore that and see how it really works. All right, so here we have the parabola y equals 1 fourth x squared plus 1, and it's graphed right here. And it's got showing some points on the parabola. So we have the point 2, 2, 4, 5, and 6, 10. All right, the focus is the point 0, 2. That's this point right here. Let me highlight it. That is the point 0, 2 right there. And the directrix is the fixed line, is actually the x-axis. So it would look like this. Okay, so what we want to look at is how far each point of the parabola is away from both the focus and the directrix. And we want to see if they are equidistant. Okay, so how far is the turning point with the vertex? The vertex 0, 1 is right here. That's the vertex 0, 1. All right, so how far is that from both the focus and the directrix? Well, the focus I can see pretty easily from here to here, right there. That is a vertical distance, so that is one unit. So from 0, 1 to the focus and directrix, it's one unit. All right, if I look down here, the directrix is also one unit. So from there to there is one unit away. Okay, now, what if I was looking at the point 2, 2? Let me do a different color so you can see it here. Here's this distance here and that distance there. All right, vertical and horizontal distance, we can just count. So this is going to be 2, and this is going to be 2. So from the point 2, 2, it is 2 units away from the focus and directrix. So both of them are the same distance away from the focus and directrix. This one is 1 unit away from both. This one's 2 units away from both. All right, now let's verify that all of the points are the same distance away from the focus and directrix. So let's take a look at the point 4, 5 this point right here. All right, let me draw my lines in. All right, so I'm looking for the distance from here to here. That's the distance to the focus. And from here to here, that's the distance to the directrix. Okay, now the distance to the directrix, I can do pretty easily because that's a, a vertical line. That's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right, now can we count a slanted line? No, we can't. That's illegal. You, you can't just count and then a slanted line and tell me what the distance is. A slanted line, we have to use the distance formula. Remember the distance formula from geometry. All right, the distance formula, remember, is the square root of delta x squared, change in x squared, plus delta y squared. All right, so my two points, I'm looking for the distance from the focus to the point 4, 5. So my two points, my focus is 0, 2, and I'm looking the distance to the point on the, on the parabola, which is 4, 5. Okay, so let's use the distance formula. If this is on the parabola, it should be 5. Let's see if it is. All right, the square root of the change in x is 4 minus 0 squared. The change in y is 5 minus 2 squared. All right, so that gives me 4 minus 0 is 4 squared is 16. 5 minus 2 is 3 squared is 9 which is 25, and the square root of 25 is 5. So this distance is 5, and the horizontal, or excuse me, the vertical distance is 5. Ha, huh, that point works. All right, let's see if it works for 610. 
I need one more color here. I'm going from here to here and from here to here. Okay, distance to the focus and distance to the directrix. All right, so the directrix is easy because it's it's a vertical distance. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so that's going to be ten. Now let's see if the distance to the focus is also ten. All right, my two points. I'm going from zero two to six ten. All right, so using my distance formula, change in x is six minus zero squared. Change in y is ten minus two squared. All right, 6 minus 0 is 6, squared is 36. 10 minus 2 is 8, 8 squared is 64. So that is the square root of 100, which is 10. All right, so this distance is also 10. So we have shown each of these points that is on the parabola is the same distance away from the focus as it is from the directrix. So that's the locus definition of a parabola. Okay. Now let's see how they came up with the equation y equals 1 fourth x squared plus 1 based on the locus definition of the parabola. Well, what we know about the equation of the parabola is the distance to the focus equals the distance to the directrix. Okay, so let's take a look at our parabola that we were just working on. All right, I'm going to pick some random point on the parabola. I don't know exactly what it is, so I'm going to call it xy. So here is my point xy. All right, so what I want to look at is the distance to the focus. Let me draw it in here. Distance to the focus, and this is distance to directrix, and distance to the focus would be right there. So I want to compare those two values. All right, now, so I need to know what the distance to the directrix is. This is horizontal, so it can count. Well, this is just however far up I went on the y-axis, correct? So this distance right here is going to be y. All right, so the distance to the directrix is going to be y. All right, now, I want to know what the distance to the focus is. All right, now remember my focus was 0, 2. And my point that I'm, I'm going is x, y. That's my fixed point, and I want to go to 0, 2. Okay, that is my distance to my focus from x, y to 0, 2. I don't know what x, y is. I just know it's going to be that value. All right, so using that random value, using the distance formula, that is going to be x minus 0 squared plus y minus 2 quantity squared, just using the distance formula. I can simplify that a little bit if I want to. x minus 0 is just x squared. Okay, now this would be the distance to the focus. All right, so the distance to the focus would go right here. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to solve this for y. All right, so if I solve this for y, um, I need to get rid of this square root because there's a y in here and there's a y over here. So let's get rid of the square root. How can I get rid of the square root? Well, I can square both sides. That'll get rid of the square root. Because when you square a square root, it cancels it out. So this is going to be y squared. And square root uh, cancels out because of the squared gives you x squared plus y minus 2 quantity squared. All right. Now, I need to get my y's together, so I've got to FOIL this out, x squared. This is y minus 2, y minus 2 is equal to y squared. All right, when this FOILs out, I get x squared plus y squared minus 2y minus 2y is minus 4y. Negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4 equals y squared. Okay, so I want to get this to be y equals. Um, so I'm going to move the 4y over here, and that gives me, and I'm going to move the y squared over here. So I'm going to minus the y squared, which is going to cancel this out. x squared minus 4y plus 4 equals 0. And I want to move the 4y to the other side. Put it over here. Um, x squared plus 4, because I minus the, um, 
equals 4y. And then just solve for y. Divide by 4. So we end up with y equals x squared over 4 is actually 1 fourth x squared plus 1. Look at that. Isn't that the equation we started with? Yeah, it is. So what we are using is the locus definition of the problem, the distance to the focus, is equal to the distance to the directrix to get the equation of the parabola. Okay, so this is a little bit challenging. It takes a little bit of practice. But um, it's you just have to be very careful with each step when you do this. So let's take a look at this problem. Sketch a diagram of the parabola below and identify its turning point and determine the equation of the parabola using the locus definition. Okay, use, doing a sketch on this is very, very important so that you can see what you have to do to work on this. All right, so consider a parabola whose focus is the point 0, 7. So the point 0, 7 would be about, say, there. This is the point 0, 7. And whose directrix is the line y equals 3. All right, what does y equals 3 look like? Well, it's a horizontal line. All right, so I'm going to draw it in, in red so you can tell what it is. My directrix y equals 3 probably be about there. All right, so that is my directrix y equals 3. And my focus would be there. All right, now, first of all, we have to draw the parabola. So the parabola is going to be equidistant from each of these points. Now, first of all, where would the turning point be? Remember, each point is equidistant from the focus and the directrix. So if I'm doing the turning point, it's got to be halfway. So the, ver the axis would be the halfway right here. So halfway would be right here. But what would it be number-wise? Well, the x value would be 0. Okay? Well, this point right here we know is on the y-axis, or on the uh, directrix is y equals 3. This would be the point 0, 3. So how far is it, if it has to be equidistant, this one's 0, 3, this is 0, 7, this is a distance of 4. So that means each of this would have to be 2 away. So where would it put the vertex? The vertex would be at 0, 5. Okay, so the vertex is at 0, 5. Okay, now, I know my parabola is going to be pointing up, because remember the directrix? It goes underneath the parabola, so this is going to be going up. So let me sketch my parabola in here. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it's just a random draw. And remember, a parabola is symmetrical, like this, so it's going to look something like that. All right, so there's my parabola. Okay, and then it says, determine the equation of the parabola used in the locus definition. Okay, so I'm going to pick some random point. I'll pull it right here. This is going to be my point x, y. All right, now, remember... The distance to the focus equals the distance to the directrix. Okay, so let's see if we can figure out what the distance to the focus of the directrix is. I've got to draw myself a picture. All right, I'll do it in green with a dotted line so you can tell where I'm drawing. All right, so here is my focus to my given point. And here is to my directrix. Okay. All right, let's start with the directrix because that's a, that's a vertical line and we can usually count. All right, now, this point x, y is over x and up y. Agreed? All right, so the distance from here down to the x-axis would be what distance? It would be, from here to here, would be a distance of y. So, if this is y equals 3 right here, and this goes from here to here, if this is y, what would be the distance of the green line to the directrix? Well, that would actually be y minus 3, because you'd be losing the 3 from moving the directrix up. So that's going to be y minus 3. So my distance to my directrix is going to be y minus 3. Okay, what is my distance to my focus? All right, we have to use the distance formula. All right, my two points are going to be x, y, and 0, 5. Those are my two points. All right, so x, y, and 0, 5. Those are my two points. This is the focus. This is my random point that I have. So x minus 0 squared plus y minus 5 quantity squared. Okay. 
All right, so there's my equation. 